Hello everyone, and I'm Autobot Sonic the Telltale Gamer, bringing latest learning Telltale games, Transformers, and more, and we are back with another video about Telltale. Specifically, we've got two big things, one that was intended, and one that wasn't quite, but I'm very, very excited to talk about. So the main part of this video is that we are going to be talking about, apparently, the full plot summary for the next Tales in the Borderlands game has been leaked, apparently. We got the cover of the game, as well as the plot summary of what exactly the new Tales in the Borderlands game will be about. So, in case you haven't heard already, back in, I believe it was March or April, Gearbox announced that a sequel to Tales from the Borderlands will be released later on this year, and that will be developed in-house by Gearbox. Telltale will not be helping out with this game, but it will be, folk it will be developed by Gearbox, and focus on a brand new story with a brand new cast of characters. And so, according to a leak posted by Amazon, where they leaked a bunch of stuff, a, a couple of games that I assume are going to be announced at GamesCon next week got leaked. One of them including Dead Island 2, which is making a comeback, which I'm really looking forward to. Down 1 was a, one of my favorite games of all time, and I was so sad when Dead Island 2 got cancelled almost 10 years ago. And now they're finally bringing it back for a 2023 release. I'm so excited for that, but... This video isn't about Dead Island 2, this is about Tales from the Borderlands 2, or as I should call it now, the new title, New Tales from the Borderlands, which is apparently the official name for the game is New Tales from the Borderlands, and we have apparently a listing for the deluxe edition of New Tales from the Borderlands, which will apparently cost around, I believe it's 40 to or 50 to 60 dollars, which is really interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cover for the game, shall we? So what you're looking at right now is the cover for New Tales from the Borderlands Deluxe Edition, and it features what appears to be some sort of robot with a sort of a, several money signs on its visor, holding up a psycho mask with a gun pointed to it in the robot's other hand. So I know probably a lot of people are going to immediately assume that this is perhaps Loaderbot, as we know at the end of Tales from the Borderlands Season 1, Loaderbot ended up uh, after being mortally wounded by... Kroger at the end of Tales of Borderlands, at the halfway through Tales of Borderlands episode five, he ended up implanting his his eye into the handsome Jack endoskeleton that Jack originally planned to shove into Reese's body, so that Jack could take control of Reese's body. But that ended up happening, and Lurbot ended up taking control of that skeleton instead. the The design of the hand that this robot is seen looks a lot like the endoskeleton's hand, but at the same time. That's not Loaderbot's head, so unless they're deciding to go for a rework to Loaderbot's face, I think this might just be a brand new character that is being introduced for New Tales in the Borderlands, and I'm really excited for it, but... So let's go ahead actually now and read what exactly is New Tales in the Borderlands going to be about. So according to the Amazon listing for New Tales in the Borderlands, we will be playing as not one, not two, but apparently three brand new characters in the Borderlands universe in Tales in New Tales in the Borderlands. We won't be playing as Sasha, Fiona, and uh, Timothy Lawrence like I thought we would back in the original teaser pick, but instead three brand new characters that are totally new to the Borderlands universe. And according to this listing, it seems as though New Tales in the Borderlands is stated to be released on October 20th or October 21st of this year. That's only two months away. We are apparently going to be only two months away from the release of New Tales in the Borderlands, and I'm super excited for that. So let's go ahead and read according to Amazon what the official description of New Tales in the Borderlands will be. Take a stand against ruthless corporate overlords in this narrative-driven adventure. Within the perpetually war-torn metropolis of Promethea, you will control Anu, Octavio, and Fran on the worst day of their lives. Help these three lovable losers as they endeavor to change the world and maybe even save it. Face down a planetary invasion, vicious vault monster, and cold-hearted capitalists in a cinematic thrill ride where what happens next is up to you. Meet a motley cast full of misfits, assassin bots, and talking guns in this race to the top. It's time to fight back against exploitation and quick greed and make mayhem your business. Pre-orders are available until October 20th, 2022. Pre-order Tales in the Borderlands new to get access to the Adventure Capital Pack. So there we go. We have our three brand new characters that will be playing as in New Tales in the Borderlands. These are Anu, Octavio, and Fran. And as we'll read on in these little features and details section, here's what they're about. Decide the fates of altruistic scientist Anu, her ambitious streetwise brother Octavio, and the fierce frogert slinging Fran. With nothing left to lose and everything to gain, you'll claw your way and con your way through this thrilling five-part story. 
So there we go. We have confirmation that New Tales in the Borderlands, while it may, it's gonna be, seems like it'll be getting the, um, the Life is Strange True Color Seek, seek, um, seek um, treatment, where the game is broken down into five episodes or chapters, but you'll have access to all five episodes when the game comes out. You won't have to, like, wait months for each one like you had to do for usual Telltale games. And moving on from that, we have these pretty interesting bullet points as well. The Borderlands aren't just home to Vault Hunters, Psychos, and Weapon Core CEOs. They're full of downtrodden, intrepid, intrepid civilians just trying to get by. With a host of returning and fresh faces, this unforgettable tale is sure to delight fans new and old. So there we go. While the story of tale of new tales in the Borderlands will focus on these three new characters, Anu, who is a scientist who, according to like another leak, is apparently going to be looking for some sort of healing crystal. Her brother Octavio, who apparently is going to be like the Fiona of this game. So if, if Anu is the Reese of New Tales in the Borderlands, Octavio is going to be the, the Fiona of New Tales in the Borderlands. And then the, the, here's the wild card. The wild card is Fran, who is apparently a Froger saleswoman. And I don't know if Fran, there's a rumor going around that Fran might be the robot that's on the cover of New Tales in the Borderlands. I would love it if she's just this wisecracking, vengeful, yogurt selling robot that just is out for blood i think that would be hilarious but i'm just not i'm totally not convinced i'm not totally convinced that fran is the robot on the cover of new tales in the borderlands because if you go back to the very very first piece of concept art for new tales of Borderlands that we got all the way back in like march or april at pax 2022 we see the vault symbol in front of three figures based on that i'm thinking the woman who i thought was sasha is going to be anu the man who i thought was timothy lawrence is going to be octavio and then the woman sitting on the throne in the middle, who I thought was going to be Fiona, that's most likely Fran, I think. I think that maybe she's sitting on the throne of some sort of, like, frozen yogurt throne. Maybe that's what it's going to be. But, who knows. Um, and that leads us to the last little blurb about New Tales of the Borderlands here, where it says, The decisions you make will determine how your story ends in unexpected ways. Whether it's Anu's vision of a universe that markets more than weapons, Octavio's dream of fame and fortune, or Fran's flossy proper revenge, their success or failure will depend on you. So that's something that really, really gets me excited because that was the whole thing about Tales in the Borderlands. They really set it up that it was going to be about recent Fiona and even the key art for episode 5 made it seem as though like, oh, in the end, the players got to decide whether Reese gets all the treasure or Fiona gets all the treasure. They're going to have to kill each other. But of course, in the end, they just sort of make up. They get the vault treasure together and they just disappear out of trace. We never see Fiona and Sasha again and then Reese and Vaughn went on to go appear in Borderlands 3. So now here's the question. We know, according to New Tales in the Borderlands, that it will not take place on Pandora like Tales in the Borderlands 1 did, but actually on Promethea. For anyone who doesn't know what Promethea is, Promethea is, as the description from New Tales in the Borderlands says, is a war-torn metropolis. Now, the reason why they call it war-torn is because Promethea was one of the main locations in Borderlands 3. Of course, it is actually the home of Reese and and the whole Atlas company is in total in Borderlands 3, where after Reese opened the Vault of the Traveler back in Tales of the Borderlands 1, Reese went to Promethea to restart Atlas and start it as a brand new company where stationed on Promethea. But if, over the course of Borderlands 3, Reese is at, in a corporate war with Malawan, who's trying to do a hostile takeover of Atlas and sort of merge Atlas into Malawan. And that's where the Vault Hunters come in, in Borderlands 3, that you help Reese and Zero fight back against Malawan and make sure they don't take over Atlas. And then, in exchange, Reese gives you the vault key to Promethea, which you and Maya end up going through to try and stop the Calypsos later on in Borderlands 3. So, the fact that we're going to be taking place on Promethea, and the fact that it's war-torn, that leads me to believe that New Tales in the Borderlands will take place either during or after the events of Borderlands 3. Be not only that, but because the, um, the mask design that the robot is holding on the cover of New Tales in the Borderlands is a Borderlands 3-style bandit mask. Which leads me to believe, again, that New Tales of Borderlands takes place either during or after the events of Borderlands 3. And considering that, while it will be focused on Anu, Octavio, and Fran, the fact they say that other, not, um, some other old returning characters may return. So, of course, this may be just returning characters of Borderlands 3. We might see characters like Ava, we could see, um, Tannis, Ava, Brick, Mordecai, Tina. But we could also see a lot of Tales of the Borderlands 1 characters. We could see Reese and Zero probably a lot because especially since Reese lives there I don't think we'll be seeing Vaughn since he's still on Pandora leading the um the Sun Smashers I think they're called now in Borderlands 3 we may finally 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 
get to see Fiona, Sasha, August, Loderbot, and Gordis, see where they've been since Tales of Borderlands 1. I really hope so, at the very least, Fiona, Sasha, and Gordis. I, I would like to see um, August and Loderbot as well, but if we only get Fiona, Sasha, and Gordis, I'm fine with that. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything we have about New Tales of the Borderlands from this leak. My guess is we'll be getting an official announcement on New Tales of the Borderlands next week during GamesCon, because that's going to lead into my next point here, and that is about the Expanse of Telltale series. So, earlier today, Jeff Keighley actually tweeted out that on GamesCon opening night at 2 p.m. on Tuesday next week, which is going to be the 24th of August, we will be getting our first look at gameplay, actual alpha gameplay of the Expanse of Telltale series, which is the brand new Telltale game coming from both Telltale Games and Deck 9 Games, who are the creators of Life is Strange Before the Storm and Life is Strange True Colors. So the fact that they've already gotten gameplay of the Expanse of Telltale series ready leads me to believe that they're going to pull something like they do with a lot of older Telltale games, where they release two at once. We know already back in February that The Wolf Among Us 2 is scheduled to come out in, in some point next year in 2023. Considering we've got gameplay already coming next week of the Expanse of Telltale series, that leads me to believe that will also be coming out at some point in 2023. Maybe not this at, at the same time as, Tales of, as The Wolf Among Us 2, but I believe it will be coming out maybe like a few months down the line after The Wolf Among Us 2 comes out, after all five episodes of it are released as well, and then they'll follow it up with The Expanse of Telltale series, but I'm really excited for that. Now, last but certainly not least, we gotta talk about what exactly makes the deluxe edition of New Tales in the Borderlands special. So, first off, the blurb for New Tales of Borderlands states that if you pre-order the game, you get access to something called the Adventure Capital Pack. And according to the description and store page of New Tales of the Borderlands, it states that the Adventure Capital Pack will give you new cosmetics for Anu, Octavio, and Fran, 10,000 in-game currency, and an in-game Flak Vaultlander collectible. So, in case you're just wholly confused on what any of this means, First off, let's talk about the cosmetics for Anu, Octavio, and Fran. This is something that could be very similar to the cosmetics you could get for Reese, Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, and Loderbot, all the way back in episodes 3 and 4 of Tales of the Borderlands Season 1, where after when you first arrive at the Atlas Terraform facility halfway through episode 3, when you're playing as Fiona, if you, depending on how much money you've collected throughout the past three episodes, you'll find a quick change station that can give you different outfits for Fiona, different arms for for Reese, different um, goggles for Sasha, different glasses for Vaughn, or even whole new paint jobs for Loaderbots. And then this carries over in episode four as well, where if you didn't buy anything for Fiona and Sasha there, what you can send to is August will give you more money, and then he help he lets you choose out a disguise for you to choose um which outfits Fiona and Sasha will wear when they go on their mission to basically um, pull off a heist on Helios. So I believe that's going to be something very similar here, where you'll get special exclusive deluxe edition cosmetics for Anu, Octavio, and Fran if you pre-order New Tales in the Borderlands. The real thing that comes in interesting is the 10,000 in-game currency, because money was a pretty big part of Tales in the Borderlands 1 and Fiona's story, where you could bribe certain characters, if you had enough money, you could get easier access to some choices, and of course, like I said earlier, you could use money you got as Fiona to buy new outfits for Reese, Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, and Loderbot. You could buy new, um, stuff for the caravan, new, like, outfits, new skins for the caravan, you could even buy just new items to help you out, and it came into a really important in Tales from the Board, in Episode 5 of Season 1, where either you had to let Felix live at the start of Episode, at the end of Episode 1, so that you could get all of the, um, the 10 million dollars, or if you got every single possible chance to get money, but didn't spend a single cent in, throughout your entire Tales of the Borderlands playthrough, you could use your money to buy the secret Vault Hunter to help you out in Tales of Borderlands Episode 5, which was revealed to be Claptrap. So, I believe this 10,000 in-game currency is going to be pretty interesting to see that maybe money will play a bigger role in Tales of the Borderlands, that maybe, normally we'll have to do maybe, like, pretty scummy things to get that money. If you buy the Deluxe Edition, you'll get that money already, so you won't have to feel bad about doing these horrible things. So maybe it's like going to be a little... Um, unfair to some players, but I think it's in a way it's kind of similar to the Quarry's Deluxe Edition where you had um you got instant access to Death Rewind, just sort of like a way where you can get a little heads up, but again, you're pre-ordering the game, so who's not to say if you're going to pre-order the game, you shouldn't get a heads up, so I'm all for that. But that's only if you pre-order the game. If you pre-order the game, you get the Adventure Capital Pack, which gives you everything you said here. We get the Anu, Octavio, and Fran extra cosmetics, we get a 10,000 in-game currency, and this other thing called a Vault Lander collectible of Flak. 
Now, if you don't remember, Flack was one of the four playable Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3. They were the non-binary robot Beastmaster that they had the ability to summon a Skag, uh, a Jab, uh, I think it's a, a Jabberwack or a Jabbermon, and a Rack to help them out, very similar to Mordecai could back in Borderlands 1. So, I don't exactly know what a Vault Lander collectible is. I think it might very well be some sort of bobblehead that you can use to customize your base, and if you pre the game, you just, like, you'll, you'll find, like, um, bobbleheads of, like, maybe every single Borderlands Vault Hunter over the course of the game, but you only get the Flak one if you pre-order New Tales in the Borderlands. That leads us, finally, to what exactly comes in the Deluxe Edition. Now, it doesn't state it exactly in this Amazon news store listing, but apparently, if you pre-order, I read this somewhere else, if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition, if you buy the Deluxe Edition of New Tales in the Borderlands, it will actually come bundled in Tales from the Borderlands, the original season, for free. So, while New Tales from the Borderlands Deluxe Edition will only be about $50 to $60, you're getting Tales from the Borderlands 1 for absolutely free. So, if, if for some whatever reason you haven't played Tales from the Borderlands Season 1 yet, I think this is a great deal. For $60, you get two $25 to $30 games. I think that's a, total, that's a really good deal. And really excited for when Gearbox properly announces this game. Okay, and so that was everything you need to know about New Tales from the Borderlands, the much anticipated sequel to Telltale's 2014 hit Tales from the Borderlands Season 1, which will be focusing on three new characters, Anu, her brother Octavio, and a Frogurt saleswoman named Fran, all going after some sort of healing crystal on the planet of Promethea that will feature multiple endings, crazy new twists and will feature all five episodes at launch when it releases presumably on October 21st, 2022 for the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, PC, and Switch. So are you excited as I am for New Tales of Borderlands' official reveal coming next week as well as our first look at gameplay of the expansive Telltale series? If you are, be sure to like, comment, and of course subscribe and I will see you guys later.